Okay, I'm back with a cleaner pen, and the problems just keep coming, but that's okay. We persevere because we are pen people. So, now I'm going to load this pen. So, I have the piston engaged. I'm going to put it in the bottle, and I'm going to pull. And then I'm going to turn it to disengage the piston. I'm not sure the names of these different parts, but the shaft. I need to disengage the shaft. And there we go. So I'm slowly pushing it down. And I'm losing a few drops of ink, so I'm making sure I've got it over the bottle. And then I screw the cap back in place. And there we go. Give it a little shake. And where's my paper towel? All right. As you can see, when I wipe the nib off, it looks blue instead of black. Obviously, <laughs> that is not a blue ink, and this is a blue ink. So I think we're on the right track now. All right. So recap the ink. Ooh, and they're such pretty bottles too, aren't they? All right. I need to swatch my ink so I shouldn't have close the bottle. Oh, and there's a, there's a thing in there. Oh my goodness, what is that? All right, I'm sure somebody out there can tell me what this is, because this is my first bottle of Namiki ink. Is that a, um, that's one of those, um, inkwells, right? One of the little inkwells that fit in the bottle. <laughs> I have completely soaked this Q-tip. But, um, well, I'm pretty sure that's one of those inkwells. Alright, let's see what we got here. We have a very, very wet Q-tip. And it looks like a pretty wet ink, too. Get our little drip going. Alrighty. Ooh, that is very nice. And pardon me for sniffling. It's the allergy time of year. Okay. So we will put him aside to dry for a little bit. I'm going to write on my Claire Fontaine paper. Alright, so that's looking like a fairly light blue. It looks much darker on the, the swatch, but I think that usually happens just because there's so much more ink on the swatch. And you can really see the sheen on the Samoon from yesterday. But um, that's a, a nice general blue. And I haven't written this one in my journal yet today either, so I will go ahead and do that. it's looking darker on this um, this Exceed paper than it does on the Claire Fontaine paper and I have noticed that different papers will bring out different colors of the ink. Okay. 
All right, now it is time to look at some cards. So here is our ink of the day. And let's see what we've got here. Here is KWZ Standard Azure number no. five. That's looking a little more teal. Here is Diamine Blue Velvet. That's a bit closer in color, but of course the Namiki Blue doesn't have any sheen, and Blue Velvet has lots of sheen. Let's see what else we have here. There is Blue Guitar. Again, I think that's a bit more teal. Now here is Colorverse Cat. This is a shimmer ink. Let's see if you can see the shimmer. But as far as the blue goes, I think the color of the blue is pretty close. So of course the Namiki blue That's doesn't not. shimmer, but I think the color is pretty similar. There's Monteverde Malibu blue. He's a little bit closer. That does have some sheen to it, but it's, it's in that same ballpark with the blue. And let's see what else I have here. Here is Asagao, and again, kind of a close color, but again, this is a heavy sheener. And let's see, here's our buddy Saltire, and again, close to the blue, but this has much more sheen. And Majestic Blue, lots of sheen. DC Super Show Blue, that's a bit brighter of a blue. Here is Sargasso C. That's fairly close in color, but again, this has a lot of sheen to it. And there is the Tasha Ao Blue. I think that might be a bit more of a purple color, but this has a lot of red sheen. And when there's so much red sheen on a blue ink, it tends to make it look more purple. And there is, let's see, the Noodler's Baltimore Canyon Blue. I think that's a bit of a lighter blue, and of course that has some sheen too. And there's my favorite, Horizon Blue, and that's definitely one of those brighter blues. So I think as far as matching, I would say this Monteverde Malibu Blue is about the closest thing that I have. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot my samples. Let me look on the samples really quick and see if anybody might be a match or at least close let's see there's Liberty's Elysium he's quite a bit brighter here is Califolio Omi Osun he's a bit lighter and has some sheen there is Kobe number two Catoba blue I think a bit lighter and of course lots of sheen. Here's Roar and Klingner Konigsblau. He's a bit lighter. Let's see what we have here. Here's Papier Plume Forget-Me-Not Blue. He's quite a bit lighter too. Although in the nib this Pilot Blue seems a bit lighter and this is lighter in the nib too. So he might not be too far off as far as writing goes. Here is Birmingham Penn's Panther Blue. That's a very nice blue with a little bit of sheen. Hmm. You know what? As this ink is drying, I think I see a little bit of sheen coming out. I do. Well, who knew? Probably every other person that's ever used Namiki Blue before. But this is a new ink for me, so I'm learning. But let's see. He's a bit lighter. What else do we have here? Here is Kobe number 50, Kumachi Blue. And he's a bit lighter too with some sheen. I think those are about my closest ones. So I would probably say that this Malibu Blue is the closest thing that I have. Very interesting. This is a very pretty ink. And I did not know it had any sheen. It's very subtle, but I like my sheen on the subtle side, so that's okay. All right, well, thank you all so much for putting up with my catastrophes today, and I'll see if I can't get that Tanzanite ink straightened out, and maybe we'll do him later. 
But until then, I hope you are enjoying your pens and inks, and I hope you will give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.